Well, you know what by now? Today is the first day of spring. Most of us uh, think that that's a day where we get equal parts of daylight and nighttime. That's not the case, though. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Ellen Baca live in Portage to explain how for us. Yeah, so the spring equinox happens every time around this time of year, and it happens with every planet on the solar system when the sun is directly over the equator. So it's called equinox because that's Latin for equal night. It means we get 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. But today we actually have 12 hours and eight minutes of daylight. And that all has to do with how we define sunrise and sunset. So settle back for a minute. We're gonna talk some science with some graphics. So we all know when we're talking about sunrise, we're usually talking about when the top of the sun crests over the horizon. So as the sun is rising, we're counting all of that time, all of that daylight. Now for sunset, it's a little different. For sunset, we're counting all of that time until the sun sinks below the horizon. So again, we're counting that time from the top of the sun instead of the middle of the solar disk. So if we were to count sunrise and sunset, by the center of the sun, then today would actually have 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of night. But because we count both of those by the top of the sun, we end up counting the sun disk twice. Hopefully that made sense. All you need to know is that the days are getting longer and it will eventually get warmer. We'll talk more about that coming up in your forecast for now. Live in Portage, Ellen Baca, 24 Hour News 8.